All right, everybody. Welcome back to the Fire for Together show. <laughs> the other day, I came to Eden after she finished the painting in the kids' room downstairs in Merrill. And I was like, wow, that's really cool. And I was like, can you make Mount Rainier on my wall? Because I really like Mount Rainier. It looks super cool to me. Um, haven't summoned it yet, but... Ow! That's, uh, that's a story for a different time. She was like, yeah, if you give me this red shelf and $10, <laughs> then I'll, uh, I'll paint the mural for you. So I was like, okay, that sounds like a good deal to me. My schedule was kind of like all over the place at the moment. And I really wanted, it's kind of an inconvenient place to paint it. Like he would have to like halfway move out of his room. So basically the idea that I came up with um, was to try and paint it in 72 hours. So that's one challenge. There are two other ones. One is we're gonna be filming a couple different videos about it, which is just an added thing that I'm a little worried is gonna get in the way of the work. It's on a, like a slanted surface. It's not like flat like I'm, I've been painting on. So that'll be like interesting to figure out, I guess. And you've never painted a mural in 72 hours, right? Yeah. So this is pretty new. All right, well, you ready to start painting? Wait, first we have to move like half All of right, this. All right, first we have to move my stuff and then we'll mm -hmm. start painting. is moved it is all over the floor here and there are the painting supplies so are you ready to start I would put a sheet over that stuff yeah <laughs> of you guys might be wondering why is Eden doing this for a shelf and 10 bucks. After I finished the mural in the kids room, I really was like, oh, what do I do next? I haven't really done a very good job at advertising myself online, which is something I wanna get into because I really wanna keep on doing murals. But at the moment, I just kind of felt like I want to paint, but I don't, I don't like the work of advertising. So this was an opportunity for me to just paint something in our house and then use that to advertise myself with. It's my brother, and this type of thing to me is worth a lot more than $10 in a shelf. But because I'm getting the chance to paint something that I care about for someone that I care about, like across the hallway from where I live, with like the leftover paints from the mural that I already finished, it kind of just feels like an opportunity to have fun with it. I'm pretty excited about it and it was honestly kind of a joke. He said, oh, will you paint Mount Rainier in my room? And I was like, oh yeah, I'll do it for this shelf that we had been arguing about. Like, oh, I was like, oh, it goes better in my room. Why can't I just have it? And he was like, no, like I want it in my room even though he has like quite a bit of furniture if you didn't notice when we were moving. As a joke, you know, I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll paint it for the shelf in 10 bucks. And he was like, okay. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I haven't started painting yet today because we got started kind of late. Everything's prepared though, as prepared as it's going to be. And I'm just gonna go for it because I did quite a bit of sketching already over this week. And then today I got some new ideas that I sketched out and I feel pretty inspired about it. Um, I'm losing daylight, so I want to get started now, and we'll keep you guys updated on how it goes. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys an update. Today was kind of frustrating with like a late start, and I just really wanted to get into the work and not focus on the camera. Uh, but I will try and get some more b-roll. Here is what it looks like so far. 
kind of hard to see because it's hard to step back. But I also wanted to show you guys a lot of this. I did like a ton of different sketches out. I really wanted to be familiar with like the contours of the mountain itself. Like just like the shape and like where it, its shadows were. I've only been working for about an hour. Um, I'm gonna probably tuck in like another hour and see what I can do. One other problem that's kind of frustrating that I didn't realize I would have is because there's so much stuff on this half of the room, there's not really a, and also because of like the angle, it's not easy for me to step back and be able to see the piece as a whole, which is something that I really like like doing um, just to see what it needs, what it doesn't need, and like, you know, change my mind about some things. Even though it's inconvenient, I think we might have to move a lot more of this stuff out. But right now, I'm just gonna continue with what my plan was because Seven is not here right now. When it comes back, we might have to figure out something. I, I'm not really sure where we'll, we'll move all this to because right outside is just like a staircase. So we're gonna have to figure that out. This is what Eden has so far. I was gone most of the day, so this is actually first look for me too. I really like the colors though of like, I don't know if you can see up there, the like pink and blue and purple is super satisfying looking. I did have paint like dropping on my face, which is a new experience for me. Like, cause I was like painting and it was like dropping on me. Mm. I wish I had gotten more work done today, but I also feel pretty good about it. I think one thing that I didn't really take into account is that it's a lot smaller than a lot of things that I've worked on. So it's actually gonna be a lot easier than I thought in some ways. Starting tomorrow bright and early, because I wanna get as many hours in as I can. Um, so how many hours have you spent today so far? Today I probably did like around like, oh, it wasn't that long, it was only like two and a half hours. Well, that's not including, really? that's not including doing all the taping. That was like an hour of prep. Yeah. Well, so let's count that. So let's just say so that you have 69 hours. hours. No, well, that's not how it works. I have to finish it. Oh, 72 hours total. Like Wednesday. Including sleep. So yeah. you have to finish this by Friday. At four. Okay. Which I think I can do. Tomorrow is going to be my main day of work. And then Friday. So tomorrow I want to get like almost everything out. And then Friday is like basically. Finishing. I look at it. I look at it and I see what it needs or what I need to change. And then like make finishing any mistakes. Cleaning up like the lines and stuff. Yeah. I guess that is a wrap on today's video. And uh, stay tuned for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. uh, and the next day when we finish it up. Bye. Bye. <laughs> okay, and before you guys go, I have an announcement. I made my own YouTube channel that explains why my hair is like this and how I broke my arm. So go ahead and check that out. The link is in the description. Um, and yeah, we'll see you guys tomorrow uh, to finish the mural.